How do you like that? Grumpy Nerd, Geek Face Reviews Grumpy Nerd, Food to Honesty too. Grumpy Nerd, Join the Grumpy Nation Grumpy What's up, what's up Grumpy Nation? Today I'm back with an amazing, unbelievable 1-6 scale premium format figure for you. And here it is guys, the Bruce Lee 75th anniversary edition from Enter Bay. This is a premium format action figure, I guess you could call it, but a premium format figure. The greatest thing about this figure is that they only made 3,500 of them. And as you can see on the back, mine is 1473 of 3,500. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to show you the ridiculousness that is the Enter Bay 75th anniversary 1 6 scale figure. Check it out. Now, here is this awesome, awesome box with this amazing artwork on it. Very cool. Uh, and then, right here on the side, you've got the Bruce Lee 75th anniversary logo 1940 to 2015. The little flying Bruce Lee is etched, kind of etched into the box in this red pattern. Very cool. Uh, on the back, you can see the limited edition number there. Um, the little decal and it's got all the other information which is not in English uh, it's in Chinese and then the side of it has the rest of the art from the front kind of sweeping off to the side which is really cool it's a nice touch and the flap here is actually magnetic um, so when you pull this little flap like so and you open it up and here's the certificate of authenticity which is like this gold plated piece it's very cool I'm not sure if it goes somewhere but it's very nice. And then here's where the figure is, and behind there is where the accessories will be. All right, now here is the dojo from the movie. Uh, this thing is amazing. It's actually built out of like solid wood. I don't know if that's, I don't know what wood that is, but it's got the dojo mat here, which is amazing. And then just the, the paint detail on this thing is awesome. It comes with a speed bag, or it's like a heavy bag. Um, and it's filled with something, I don't know what, but it's very cool and you can actually hang it uh, on this little clip here on the dojo. Let me show you real quick. All right, and there it is. It's hanging. The heavy bag is hanging on the dojo. Just a, an amazing backdrop for this figure. Uh, and then it comes with this broken vase. Uh, if you've seen the movie, you know what the broken vase is all about. The quality on this thing, look at that. You can actually see inside the little scuffs. All right, there you go. And look at that. And that looks like an actual ceramic vase. That is crazy. All right, guys, now here is Bruce Lee himself out of the box and he comes with this clip stand which I just set him on for now I will get closer so you guys can see more but I just wanted to show you some of the uh, accessories that come with this guy so we got these nunchucks these are amazing they are just like the ones in the movie got the little black straps on them um, but very cool little nunchucks and then uh, it actually comes with a little nunchuck pouch uh, like a carrying case for him as well so there's that which is very cool so he comes with five pairs of hands uh, these rocking out kind of what the hands, which I really like. Got the fingers kind of curled, which is cool. Then we've got these closed fist kind of look like he's ready to hold. I think these are for the nunchucks. And you can see the fingers are real bendy there. So you don't want to push them too much, but you can bend them enough where you can get the nunchucks uh, in his hand, which is great. Then we've got these open palms. Uh, these are very cool. Again, the detail on these hands, I mean, you can really see if you can get a good look there. You can see like the veins on his hands and stuff. And there's color variations in the paint. Just very, very cool looking hands. Um, great job on the sculpt, I really like this. And then we have these other hands which are kind of similar to uh, the other ones. His fingers are bent in the middle a little bit so he looks like he's ready to do some, some ninja stuff here going on. And again, fingers are bendy, very cool. A look at this face sculpt, guys. This is just unreal, this face sculpt. Now I've seen the Hot Toys version of Bruce Lee and I'm gonna say right now there is no way that it competes with this enter bay version unbelievable then we go down to his chest now this material is kinda of like lycra which is really cool um, it, it definitely works and then we go all the way down here to his tigers look at those tigers I think those are tigers look at those feet very cool shoes just great detail look at the bottom they even made it look like there's dirt on the bottom which is unbelievable I really like that I really like that. That is cool, man. I mean, that is just unbelievable, guys. Very cool attention to detail. And I just, I can't get over this face. I mean, the hair looks great. The eyes look amazing. All right, now let me go over the articulation here. His arms move up and down. 
He's got elbow joints, wrist joints, um, rotation. It flexes back and forth, so you can really pose those arms. His head is looks like it to be on a ball joint, so you can definitely move it around. Can't look up as much. Uh, he definitely looks side to side. Look at that. That is just so cool. You can really pose this guy. Um, yep, a little tilt. Uh, his arm again, same thing. Elbows move. Now down here, his knees bend very well. Um, they don't flex all the way. His hips move. And it feels like not much waist crunch here. Little side to side waist movement, but not too much. I, I want to be careful. But And then you move down here to the, to the knees again here. And then his feet, you've got a lot of pivoting going on. So you've got pivots here and you can swivel it and toes down, toes up. Very, very cool. The shoes feel like they're going to fall off here. And then look at, you can even see his little socks here underneath the pants. That's so cool, man. So definitely, definitely detailed figure here. You can definitely pose him a lot. Now I'm going to have to work on posing him a little bit, but I think uh, I can get it down. Also, he comes with this cool stand. Now, this stand is heavy-duty metal. It's got this kind of flap here where you can flatten it out. And then it's got the logo there and his autograph right here. And this clip here, it's just a little waist clip, and it's on a spring there. So it's a spring clip. So if you don't want him uh, freestanding, you can use this clip. And it doesn't move too much, but it's so heavy. Put the thing in here, a little base, and there you go. Nice spring-loaded clip. Very very nice touch um so if you want to stand him away from the dojo you use this all right guys now i've got him posed looking badass with his nunchucks standing in the dojo broken vase and all now again guys overall this figure to me just blows away any hot toys figure that i've seen and i love hot toys figures i really do but i gotta say the face sculpt alone uh on this figure just absolutely destroys hot toys face sculpt um, at least on the Bruce Lee and I've never seen a Hot Toys figure with a backdrop this detailed and this heavy-duty I mean it just looks unbelievable such a great piece it's almost like a statue um, and the fact that it has articulation and it is an action figure um, is just even better now this is like I said a premium format figure and this is by all definitions a premium format figure guys this is just too cool look at that unbelievable sculpt I cannot get over this. So guys, if you want to pick up a premium format figure and you're trying to decide which one, I'm going to say your first one, if you like Bruce Lee, you got to go with this figure. You got to take this figure over any Hot Toys Bruce Lee figure because overall, it's just a fantastic, fantastic sculpt, fantastic backdrop, great detail. And again, guys, you can pick this up at entertainmentearth.com. I think it's like $250 right now, which is unbelievable. Great price just fantastic price guys so definitely i will leave a link in the description below for this um go check it out at least give it a look hopefully this review gave you an insight onto how awesome this figure really is all right guys and i'm back and i did neglect to show you this staff that comes with it i didn't even know uh it was hiding in the package because it's so thin but there's a staff as well this thing is crazy insane i love it so guys if you love this figure let me know in the comments below and also let me know if you want to see more premium format figures from this channel. Uh, it is amazing to me. I love these figures. I really, really love the more like detailed figures like this. Aside from Hot Toys and Enter Bay, there are other companies that are coming up and they're making more detailed figures. So I'm really excited about this year, guys. Super excited to show you guys some more stuff like this. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Grumpy Nation, thank you for watching. You guys are the best. What the? Grumpy Nerd, Geek Face Reviews. Grumpy Nerd, who's so honesty too? Grumpy Nerd, try the Grumpy Nation, Grumpy.